Hey guys, Gameboy3800 here once again, and today I'm going to be looking over the ASUS G55Z gaming laptop. This is a 15.6 inch gaming beast, and as always with my reviews, I go over the exterior first. Um, with this laptop, it's got a very nice um, soft matte finish, but unfortunately it is kind of a fingerprint magnet. This big bar on the back here by the hinges is actually a speaker bar. It's got two speakers and a subwoofer, so you got 2.1 surround built in. Very nice. Next up, we go and look over the ports. Here you have a DVD RW drive, a um, headphone mic, two USB 3.0 ports that you can't see, now you can, and Kensington lock. You have two big vents for the GPU and CPU, and the ASUS logo that does nothing. You have the power. Um, check here, um, Gigabit LAN, old VGA, whoever still uses that, mini display port, HDMI output, and two more USB 3s, and then finally on the front you have a SD card reader and some indicator lights. On the bottom, there's not really much to see under this big panel here, is the hard drive, and also two more um, open RAM card slots. It's got 8 gigabytes in it now, but it could house 32 gigabytes. So it just get four 8 gig modules and you're good to go. Unfortunately though, the other two modules are under the keyboard, so you will need to disassemble the whole thing pretty much. This here's the battery. It's got a pretty good charge. For a gaming laptop, that is. Opening it up, I already have it powered on, and you can see right away that the keyboard lights up. You can also kind of see down here. You have a Core i7 um, sticker here. Yes, this has a third generation Intel Core i7-3610 with a base speed of 2.4 GHz and a turbo is up to 3.4. Very good. Windows 7, obviously. And NVIDIA GeForce GTX 660M. When I had this in the M18XR2, it was a beast. It could max out any game I threw at it. And it's got a 750GB hard drive. 7200 RPM, and that's about it. The keyboard, well, it can change like brightness levels. It can't change color. It's no Alienware, but it still gets the job done. Now, there's another button up here by the power button. You really can't see that. You still really can't see that. But trust me, there's a Republic of Gamers button up here. If you press it, it goes into other power modes. So you have high performance, you have entertainment mode, you have quiet office mode, and then you have power server mode. And high performance for gaming is obviously what you're going to be using the most often. The screen is a matte just like the whole exterior. And I don't usually like matte displays because they don't give as much color. But this one actually does a really good job. I always prefer glossy screens over matte. Even though it can be a little bit reflective and fingerprint I'm collecting, I still like them more. You can't really see that. Still can't really see that. There, now you can see stuff. Um, I have no games installed on this because I'm actually going to be selling it very, very soon. That's why I'm doing this review now. But going to personalize screen shaver, it's got the best screen shaver ever.
good screensaver, although the camera didn't really pick it up. So that's why I simply just inputted it. I downloaded it and used a recording software to just show you in its full capabilities. Not connected to a network right now, so... Sure, you don't need to see my passcode. Just gonna connect to the old Belkin, which will give me access to one final thing. Yes, it's the tradition. I found this one. Another entertainment. <laughs> yes. I think that's about it for this review. I'm sorry I don't have any gameplay to show you. But I am saving that for another review coming up very soon. And then I have a repair video coming up very soon as well. So, keep in touch, or whatever. Thanks, Gamboy Out. See you next time.